Dear friends, we are assembled here in the presence of God to unite Megan and Ryan in marriage. The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman, freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord declared that man shall leave his father and mother and unite with his wife in the building of a home. The two shall become one flesh. Who gives this bride to be married? Her mother and I. You may be seated. <laughs> the home is built upon love, which virtue is best portrayed in the 13th chapter of Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not in insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. So faith, hope, love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Marriage is a companionship which involves mutual commitment and responsibility. You will share alike in responsibilities and the joys of life. When companions share a sorrow, the sorrow is halved. When they share a joy, the joy is doubled. You are exhorted to dedicate your home to your Creator. Take His Word, the Bible, for your God. Give loyal devotion to His Church, thus uniting mutual strengths of these two most important institutions living your lives as His willing servants, and true happiness will be your temporal and eternal rewards. Let us pray together. O Lord of love and life, bestow Thy grace upon this marriage and seal this commitment of Thy children with Thy love. As Thou hast brought them together by Thy divine providence, sanctify them by Thy Spirit, that they may give themselves fully one to another and to thee. Give them strength and patience to live their lives in a manner that will mutually bless themselves and honor thy holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Please join your right hands. Ryan. Will you take Megan to be your wife? Will you commit yourself to her happiness and her self-fulfillment as a person? I will. And to, you, and to her usefulness in God's kingdom. And will you promise to love, honor, and adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to her so long as you both shall live? I will. <laughs> Megan, will you take Ryan to be your husband? Will you commit yourself to his happiness and to his self-fulfillment as a person and to his useful, usefulness in God's kingdom? And will you promise to love, honor in adversity and prosperity and to be true and loyal to him so long as you both shall live? I will. May we have the rings. The wedding ring is a symbol of marriage in at least two ways. The purity of the gold symbolizes the purity of your love for each other. And the unending circle symbolizes the unending vows which you are taking, which may only be broken honorably in the sight of God only by death. As a token of your vows, you will give and receive the rings. Ryan, please place the ring on Megan's left hand and repeat after me. Megan, with this ring. Megan, with this ring. I pledge my life. I pledge my life. In love to you. In love to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Megan, please place the ring on Ryan's left hand and repeat after me. Ryan, with this ring. Ryan, with this ring. 
I pledge my life. I pledge my life. In love to you. In love to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Our couple will now participate in the sand ceremony. Ryan and Megan, today you join your separate lives together, and the two separate containers of sand symbolize your separate lives, separate families, and separate set of friends. They represent all that you are and all that you'll ever be as individuals. They also represent your lives before today. As these containers of sand are poured into the center container, they will no longer exist but will be joined together as one. Just as the sands are forever intermixed, so are your lives of the people being celebrated today. Ryan, you may pour the first sand. You sing will be down as The smell of the perfume is floating down the stairs. You're fixing up your hair like you do. Will you both please repeat after me? Entreat me not to leave you. Entreat me not to leave you. Or to return from following you. Or to return from following you. For where you go, I will go. For where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people. Your people shall be my people. And your God, my God. And your God, my God. Since they have made these commitments before God in this assembly, by the authority of God and by the laws of the state of South Carolina, I declare that Ryan and Megan are husband and wife. Ryan, Megan, you are no longer two independent persons, but one. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. Ryan, you may kiss your bride. Join, join hands, face the crowd. May I present to you Mr. and Miss Ryan Metz. Yeah. 